from Lana. Welcome to our biology form 2 uh, topics or form 2 syllabus. I believe you enjoyed the lessons in form 1 and the many topics and subtopics that we covered in form 1 and how they are related from one topic to the other. So our first topic in form 2 is transport in plants and animals. And uh, in transporting plants and animals, these are actually two topics in one because uh, plants, the, the way plants are trans, uh, the way transportation of substances occur in plants is different from the way transport occurs in animals. And therefore, plants and animals exhibit different ways, different methods, different features that are used in transportation of substances within their cells and also removal of waste products of metabolism from their cells. That is uh, for proper growth and for proper functioning of their cells. So to get into the topic of transport in plants uh, uh, and animals in form 2, I want to do a very brief recap on uh, what we did in form one where we talked about the cells in form one and metabolic activities taking place in those cells and we said for metabolic activities to occur in the cells then the cells must be provided with nutrients and they must also be provided with oxygen they are very very basic are for metabolic activities to occur in any living cell. That is, be it an animal cell or a plant cell. So uh, once these uh, nutrients are provided to the cells, they must be transported to all uh, parts of the cell. They must be transported to the whole plant system, if it is in plants, or must be transported to the whole animal system if it occurs in animal, uh, animal bodies. So it is important at the same time when these nutrients, when this oxygen are transported in the living cells and facilitate the metabolic activities or uh, the metabolic activities occurs in those cells, then the waste products of metabolism must be removed from those uh, cells or they must be transported to the excretory organs uh, where they can easily be removed from uh, the cells. Just a reminder, just a reminder, we said excretion is a removal. It is actually the separation and the elimination of waste products of metabolism from the living cells. And um, for these metabolic activities to occur, just like I've said, the cells must be provided with nutrients and oxygen, which must be transported through the plant system, through the animal system. At the same time, the removal of the waste products of metabolism is very, very important because some of them are nitrogenous wastes, for example, in animals. And should they be left to accumulate in the cells, then they can easily harm or destroy uh, the cells, hinder proper functioning of such uh, cells. <laughs>